Stop number 11 is Richmond International Raceway for the running of the Crown Royal 400. A last chance again in the All-Star Race and an all-female front row, as a matter of fact, here today. 27 car of Rachel Williams will start from the pole. Taylor Acosta is alongside the next second row. Zed Weinstein and Jeremy Duby. And then row three has Lisa Shears and Dylan Poteet. Row four, Michael Dawson and Ryan Cooper. So... Pace car ducks on the pit road, the field being led by Rachel Williams, and the green flag waves. Here we go at Richmond. Oh, trouble already! Sasha Dawson up in the wall. And Mike Dubia spun. Connor Breen off in the grass, and they're still wrecking. Seth Cole's crash. So is Kathy Cantara, Lisa Shears. Alex Tankers crashed. Rachel Williams, but he wins the race back to the line. What a, what a rough way to start off 40 laps here at Richmond. There's the crash. This is what whole, this is really what's triggered the whole thing right here. Coming. This is what triggered the whole crash deal. They were three. They're almost. They're about four wide, right back there. Once you're gonna replay, Jeremy Duby's gonna shove Taylor Acosta up. That's gonna cause Lisa Shears and Michael Dawson to spin. Dylan Poteet spins around as well in the 66. Ryan Cooper, he and him and Mike Becker get together. That's where Kathy Kintara crashes right there. Then there's, there's Sasha Dawson just can't get off the wall. And Batson, she gets sideways in the three. Taylor Acosta hit or Ryan Acosta hits the wall. Then Mike Duby gets turned by Trent Dunham in the 24. He saves it. And yes, I think I want to see where Seth Cole got turned. Here he goes up the track. He's he's got Zoar Munden and Ray Castrovon. Yep. Yes, yeah, Zoar Munden and Ray Castro crashes. Alexander Jones is in it. Dalton Day. I don't know if he got any damage. Uh, yeah, he did. He got rear-ended by the nine of Justin Acosta. You saw Keith Batson, he goes off in the grass. He and Alexander Dawson doing a little road off-roading, but neither one of them got damaged, not neither the 42 nor the 28. So Russ and Alexander are clean. Just some, a lot of action here. Just a lot of action here at Richmond. We're about to go back to green this time by here at Richmond, Virginia. It'll be Rachel Williams out in front as she will get the restart of lap number six of the race. It's Rachel Williams, the car 27, the Texas winner this season of the Samsung Mobile 500. Zed Weinstein, who won her last outing at California in that terrific finish over there. And here we go again. We'll we see a little holocaust this time. Three wide for the lead. Doobie dives inside of Weinstein and Williams. They are side by side. Three wide out of the corner number four. Oh, and Rachel Williams put Zed Weinstein in the wall. She put him in the wall. Zed Weinstein will not like that at all as he goes, as he's on the outside now of Dougie Shears in the 99. Whoa! Just some rough and tough short track action here today at Richmond, you know that. We saw much of the same way at Bristol. 
As you see Russ Batson now in the 88, he goes into second place now behind Jeremy Doobie, our Atlanta winner this season. Dougie Shears runs third, Jasmine Acosta fourth. These are bitter rivals, shall we say, from back in season one. And we're back under yellow again. Let's we'll see what happened. Oh, Mike Doobie in the 15 and Alexandra Jones in the 20. <laughs> and Mike Doobie's got the All-Star, got the Winston All-Star Open to fall back on now. That area, he's not qualified for the All-Star event. There were three wide, he was three wide between Alexander Dawson and Mike Becker. And those three ganged up. And what the... And they, Doobie got spun out right there. That was Mike Doobie. We saw, we saw a car spin right in front. Boy, Seth Cole about to hit him too in the, in the 75. There's a spun out car. That is Jack Richards, the season three champion of the Mountain Dew Racing Series. I have a hunch that he might have had a help from Josh Osborne in a 30. Yep. Jack Richards got uh, blatantly turned by Josh Osborne in the 30. It uh, doesn't look like any damage to Richards' car. I don't think there was. Just a little cut, light contact to the wall. There's where Alexandra Jones, she got spun. And indeed, Seth Cole did hit the, the uh, 15 of Mike Doobie. And Jack Richards just gives Alexandra a second hit. Excuse me. Uh, anyway. <clears throat> Let's go on board. Let's go on board with Alexandra Jones on this one. That was a little rude. Somebody's somebody rear end somebody nailed Alexandra right in the rear end while she was trying to start her car. And yeah, no secret, she's out of the race, no doubt. So, uh, pace car is ducked off on the racetrack, or not ducked off on the racetrack. Lights are off on the pace cars. What I was trying to say. And the field being led now by Jeremy Doobie as we get the green flag on lap number 13. But Russ Batson got a better start than Jeremy. Jeremy must have spun the tires on the start. And look at Russ all over Jeremy's and going to turn number one. Drag race between a pair of Fords as they come in on turn number three. Batson has the number one spot. His brother, his brother Keith won this race last season. And then we're back under yellow again. It's getting to be like Bristol all over again, I believe. Oh, did I see somebody get spun on the caution? I might have been seeing things here. Oh, and it looked like looks like Trent Dunham, I believe, in the 24 got turned. Yeah, he did. Let's see what happens. In, as, as I think Trent, uh, let's see what happened in turn number one. Well, two cars helped him uh, turn, get turned around there. Trent got turned by both. Actually, got turned by Josh Osborne in the 30s. And Josh Osborne's been making little in, was making some enemies here today at Richmond. We saw Adrian Becker get damage on her machine. But Trent's back and going again. Adrian Becker comes out of the pits. She's still, she's on the tail end of the lead lap. <coughs> uh, 
and the lights in the pace car are off. Now, now the pace car ducks back on the racetrack. The field now again being led by Keith, by Russ Batson in the 88 car. Restart from the third caution of the day. Sorry we haven't been getting any green flag action here. This is Richmond usually is a demo derby in some ways. Oh, Jeremy Debbie! Oh, he got sideways from he got, uh, got attacked by the 99 Dougie Shears. Doobie almost got turned in turn number two as they come down to the front stretch. Three wide there, Taylor Acosta and Jasmine Acosta dives inside of Dougie Shears. Zed Weinstein in the 70s into it. We saw Aaron Williams almost get turned as well as they go into turn number three. Oh, careful there, guys. Aaron Williams and Michael Dawson dropping back a little bit as they get, as they get in the mix between with Ryan Cooper, Rachel Williams, our pulse sitter for the event, and Ryan Acosta. Oh, Rachel Williams hard in the wall! Hard in the wall goes Rachel Williams and Aaron Williams as well in the 11. Dalton Day was riding the grass. I kind of saw that coming too because look at Rachel is on the inside of the 33 of Ryan Cooper. Yep, Cooper, uh, Aaron Williams, I think, shoved Ryan Cooper into Rachel Williams. That sent Rachel around and, Aaron, and Ryan Cooper just, or Aaron Williams just tapping Rachel's car. John Acosta got spun in the whole thing. Zoar Munnins in it in the 14. And damaged up as well as Dalton Day. Uh, no, Dalton Day is actually fine on his car. His car's actually fine. Don't know what might have happened. All I know is that Aaron Williams, I think, caused a crash with his own teammate, Rachel. So, it's going to be a hard to play a whodunit game right here. On, on board with Rachel Williams in the 27. Rachel drives away, P.O.'d. By the way, Jeremy Doobie won the race back to the line in the 26 car. Rachel Williams will start alongside Jeremy Doobie. Now, this is a tricky situation with the double fall restarts. We've seen a lot in the Sprint Cup series, but we'll see what happens here in Richmond. We've seen a lot of times at Bristol, my right? Ooh, Jeremy Doobie, great start. Jeremy Doobie pretty much took off like John Force on that start as they come out of corner number two. Oh, trouble! Zed Weinstein's around! Aaron Batson, she's in it! And yet another yellow, this one number four. Poor Ann Batson, what a horrible season for her. Hoping to regain that performance back that she had in season three, but unfortunately for her, just nothing going the way as planned. And boy, she was just an innocent um, victim of circumstance between with Zed Weinstein. Let's show you what happened there. Zed Weinstein was on the outside of the the 6 of Jasmine Acosta and the 27 of the lap car of Rachel Williams. And I think, yep, Rachel shoves Jasmine up the track and Jasmine hits Zed Weinstein. He hits Rachel Williams as well. Watch Ann Batson. Ugh! 
And those three cars behind, Michael Dawson, Connor Brayton, and Alexander Dawson, they had to get hard on the binders to try to avoid the crash. And masterfully enough, did a, did a, and did a masterful job getting and keep from being in the crash. And let's go on board with Ann Batson. Here, starting from the restart here, I should say. We went a little bit too far back on replay. On board with Ann. and having trouble getting her car started, obviously, in that crash. Oh! What the heck? Did I see Ann Batson retaliate on Zed Weinstein? What the heck? Yes, she did! Ann Batson nailed Zed Weinstein in the back end. Obviously, obviously very mad. Season she's had so far. I can't say that I blame her for that. Ugh. What a crazy race so far here at Richmond. This time by, we're gonna have 10 laps to go here at Richmond. Jeremy Dibby trying to get his second win of the season. He's got Russ Bass and he's hungry for his win here today for his first win of the season. As they come off corner number four, Jeremy Dibby will take the green flag. And here we go again. That is five cautions we've had right now so far. Here at Richmond, we had five at Bristol. Oh, and Dylan Poteet's around! And look at him strewn all over the track! Oh! Three wide on the... Cropley was a sandwich right there between the Costas, Justin, and Ryan. And that was no caution for Dylan Poteet, by the way. And meanwhile, Taylor Acosta takes the lead in the 21, and now there's a yellow. Dougie Shears and Russ Batson leaning on each other. And that caution, I believe, was for Adrian Becker in the two. Adrian's just not had a... Adrian's rookie season very, very tough. Dylan Poteet, he's smoking very, very bad. Yeah, and she got turned in the deal. Now, we'll watch what happened to Dylan Poteet first. This was on the restart. Dylan Poteet... Yep, he got turned by the 94 of Ray Caster. And sends Dylan hard. And sends Dylan into the wall. And that was no harm, no foul. It looked like for Dylan Poteet. That was until the two car of Adrian Becker. Here she is on the outside of the track. There she was on the outside of Keith Batson, John Acosta, Ray Caster, ironically enough as well. Now watch what happens here. They were almost five wide in turn two. Aaron Williams goes off the track. He hits Charles Jackson. And yet Charles is going to turn and Adrian Becker. That's going to turn her into Aaron Williams. That's going to turn him around. Whew! 
Ooh, Zed Weinstein, he got awful because of oh, Rachel wins again in a crash. And Mike Becker hits his own mother. And Dylan Poteet hits her too. Oh my god. <sighs> Roots and twigs, what a race. <laughs> I tell you what, this there may be a damn much a derby event here at Richmond, I don't know. Taylor Acosta has the lead. She is, she's looking to become the tenth different female to ever win in a Casual GTX Cup series. We will get restarted. We'll be restarted on lap 37 of this event. So we will have four laps to go here at Richmond, Virginia. Let's see who will take home the Crown Royal 400. Taylor Acosta not qualified for the All-Star race. Remember that. Here comes Jeremy Doobie, I've seen that, he almost got turned by Russ Batson! Doobie to the lead! Three to go! And Taylor Acosta goes up high! Jeremy Doobie now has the lead, Russ Batson dives inside for the number one spot! Dougie Shears gets into it, Josh Osborne gets into it! Five cars, you can throw a blanket underneath, two laps to go! And here comes Dougie Shears dives inside! We're under yellow again! And that means Russ Batson is gonna be your winner of the Crown Royal 400! Oh, and what a finish we were gonna have until ruined by a yellow flag! And I believe it was for Charles Jackson in the 10. Seven cautions in 40 laps! Unbelievable! And here's what happened to Charles Jackson in the 10. Yeah, and he shoves Michael Dawson into the wall, and then Charles, he gets hit, and he hits Zed Weinstein. Charles spins around. Zed Weinstein doesn't look like he was all that damaged up in the crash. But here's how they are, but here's how they're going to come by. Coming across the checkered flag, Russ Batson car 88. The Crown Royal 400 ends under caution, and Russ Batson will take the win at the Crown Royal 400. Jeremy Diddy finishes second in this race. Whew. Wow. Average speed of the race, 65 and a half miles an hour. Russ Batson wins the race. Jeremy Doobie second. Dougie Shears third. Then Josh Osborne, Taylor Acosta, Just Jasmine Acosta, Chris Martin, Sasha Dawson, Ryan Cooper, and J J Justin Acosta 10th. Colin Cropley 11th. Then Ryan Acosta, 12th, Trent Dunham, Zoar Munnand, Ray Caster, the 15th position goes to Ray. And then there's the rest of the finishers, Adrian Becker, finishes in 28th though, Dylan Poteet had a piston problem, Adrian Becker with the crash. Then the rest of the finishers right there. Alex Tanker bring up the rear. Ed Alexandra Jones had a camshaft problem. So. Cheese and peanuts, what a race. But Russ Batson takes the win here today at Richmond, Virginia. I'd say we're going to need some of rest before the All-Star race. I'll tell you what. Charlotte Motor Speedway will be the next stop on the tour, and here's how the points are going into the 600 at Charlotte. Jeremy Doobie with the points lead now by 43 over Taylor Acosta. Ray Caster third. 
Connor Breeden fourth, Sasha Dawson fifth, then Justin Acosta, Alexander Dawson, Alexander Jones, Dougie Shears, and Colin Cropley, the top 10 in the points. Seth Cull hanging on to the top to the 20th position. And there's the rest of the points as they are right now. Michael Dawson, 36th in the points still. Next race on the total will be at Charlotte Motor Speedway, the Winston All-Star Event. Don't miss it.